Hi guys, so today I have another tutorial using the It's My Pleasure palette by ColourPop. And today I'm gonna do, I already have my face makeup on. I am actually doing a video on these two right here. These are the Dior Skin Glow and the, well, these Dior Forever Foundations. So that video will be up. That's why I already have my makeup on. But as far as the eyes and the rest of the face, I did want to film this so that way I can do another tutorial using this palette and do a different combination from the other video that I did using it. I kind of set my eyelids already with the powder that I was using all over my face. So. I'm not gonna start with like a wet base or anything. I am also gonna use this uh, Cut Crease Canvas by Makeup Revolution, which is a white concealer-like type of product, but it's to create cut creases. So I wanna use this today and see if it works. In case y'all are interested in it, they have three of the other shades that are more like if they were like skin-like colors. I just wanted to try the white one. So I am probably going to use that one today. So first I'm going to start off with, I'll use this one right here, which is on the top corner. Are these backwards again? Yeah, for some reason, these palettes, even the Sol and uh, the Sol y Mar, the sticker in the back is like opposite from where the eyeshadow actually is in the front, which is weird. So I'm going to take that light purple shade and apply that as my transition shade right in here. I'm using the Morphe M514 brush, which is a small little blending brush. I haven't done my eyebrows either. I'm going to do those on camera because I never show y'all how I do them. Sometimes I think I've shown y'all before, but I don't really show that part. I'm just going to do that today because I haven't done them yet. I decided to do my foundation before so that way I won't have like that line in between that I'm always telling y'all that I get because I don't get that close to it with concealer and stuff, so I don't want it to look outlined. And if I get too close, I feel like I mess up the brow and I go in like a dip and then I have to try to even it out or add more product, then it looks gray. It's just like, it, it becomes, it can get messy really fast, so. The next color is going to be the dark purple down there. And I'm going to use this one on my lower lashes. This one, I mean on my lower, on my, on my outer corner. This one has a lot of fallout. I don't mean fallout like on over here. I meant like the mess that it makes on the pan. It's just like it gets really messy. So I am dragging it in just a little bit, but not the same as over here where I have it all on my eyelid. I'm going to take the darker shade brush and go over that too. And take a little bit more of the dark one and then just focus this part on the lower part of the corner. I want to drag it up too much because it's one of those shades that like it's really intense so <laughs> the more I go over it the more product I get on my eye with the dark color the dark purple. So I'm just switching back and forth with the brushes because this one even though I'm not adding more product it still has some on there and it's just really intense that it easily builds up. I'm going to take a little bit more now and apply it again on the lower part of the corner. So now it's time for this little thing right here and it I already opened it. It does seem like a little thin so I'm just hoping that it's not super super thin. Actually what am I doing with this brush? That's not the brush that I'm going to use with it. I'm going to take a flatter brush and I'm hoping that it's not like super thin, but I hope it looks white, you know? I'm gonna do a halo. I'm gonna start right here in the center. And usually I use concealer for this, so of course you can just use concealer. But I wanted to try this product because it seems pretty cool, you know? And it's completely, completely white. I feel like I need a new brush for my cut creases because they're not... Because these brushes that I have have not been giving me like a crisp line. They're kind of like a little messy on the edges. Let me try my small brush that I use all the time. Okay, I found it. So I'm going to take a little bit more and just go over the edge. Oh, look, it already... I already looked up, so it already like <laughs> transferred to the top. So I'm just going to go over the edge. Oops. This one's a little better of a brush, but I still feel like I need another one. So if you have a favorite brush to cut the crease, let me know which one it is. Okay, so that doesn't look too bad. I fixed it. It looks good. Um, I'm just going to kind of blend out these edges towards the inner corner and the outer corner. I guess that looks pretty good. I mean, it does look white. I would say it's almost the same as using a concealer, but at least it's white underneath 
and it's not a nude shade. So with this brush, I'm just gonna go over it and take off any extra product. That actually looks good. I'm liking that white look white anymore because of course it's purple underneath, but it, it looks good. I like it. I like the product. It's not super thick. I feel like it's a little bit tacky to where the eyeshadows are gonna stick to it, but we'll see. So let me see, I'm gonna use a light shade on the center and I'm gonna use this one on the bottom since I haven't used this one yet. It's more like a taupe purple and I'm gonna take it with my brush. I'm gonna apply it just like this and see how it works and if not, then I'll use a spray with it. Okay, that's looking good. So I don't think I need to spray it with anything. And like I said, that cut crease product, it, it's a little tacky, just like a concealer would be but it's not thick at all and it's just tacky enough for it to show up. Okay, so I thought that was gonna be a little bit lighter, but it still looks good. The eyeshadow looks really pretty. It looks like a foil eyeshadow. It's looking like really flat and just like all even and glowy. And then I'm going to take this color over here and apply that one on the outer corner and on the inner corner. These are really messy though. For sure. I'm just gonna apply a little bit over here and over here and then blend them in. But these are intense. I really like them. I'm gonna blend it into that lighter shade. And I am getting fallout from that one, like a bunch of it. And taking that same brush just on the other side, I'm gonna get a little bit more of that taupey purple and mix it into the dark purple. Just to start blending them in together. And that looks really pretty. I like it. I'm going to take a little bit more of the darker purple and go over that one more time. I feel like I covered it up too much. There. That looks really pretty. I like it. Okay, so I'm going to remove all this fallout because I have a bunch. And it is shimmer, so I don't want it to get on everywhere. It's stuck, you know. This one right here that I was using with the lighter shade and go over this edge. Okay, so I did the other eye, and I'm going to do the lower lash line, and I'm going to start off with this bottom shade right there, which is like a pink-purple shade. And I think I'm just going to keep that one. I don't think I'm going to add another color. And it kind of looks like that one on top, like the two colors that I applied on top mixed together. At first, I thought that one and this one over here were going to be a little bit more pink, but they're not. They really do look purple. It's just like a different shade of purple, like a lighter shade. Like I said, I don't think I'm going to use any other color. I think it looks fine like that. And I'm thinking of using this one. It's not the same tone of purple, but I think it will still look good. This is by Pixie. It's a an eye pencil, and this one is called Velvet Violet. There you go. You see, I think it looks pretty. It kind of goes with the shade that I have in the center, but not exactly. I don't know, just the different tones of purple look really pretty. So there you go with that. And I'm gonna just go over, did I use this brush? Yeah, just gonna go over this one more time. Okay, so for my brows, I have been using this pencil along with these two products. I like the way that my eyebrows look a little bit less harsh, like I was telling you earlier. So I'm gonna use this one. This one is in the color 4.5 and this is the precisely my brow pencil it has a product on one side and the spoolie on the other side and like i said not i don't always want like a full on brow but i have never found like the perfect product like i would try to apply the dip brow and just apply less of it and try to make it a little bit more natural looking but never look like that it would it would always just look the same and then I had to go over it and like clean it up so it just ended up always looking very bold. Um, which I like that look sometimes but I don't want to like that all the time. I don't know if it's because of the color of this but it just they just look lighter and less harsh. Because even though I have cleaned them up before like if I go too low or something I do clean it up with concealer but it's not the product itself. This. It's not as dark and my eyebrows don't look as harsh even though I do clean them up. So this one is the 3D Brow Tones and this one is a light brow gel. This one's in the color number 2. Yeah, and I'm just going to go over this area in the front. And I'm just going to go over my little hairs like this. 
that just kind of gives me like a little bit of a like different colored hairs like just a little bit lighter than my natural hair you probably can't tell on camera but i can see it in person there are like some little hairs that are light brown because of the product and then this one is clear it's a little bit more of a flat spoolie and i'm just gonna go over my entire brow and this is like a gel just combing them up hopefully they kind of stay like a little messy not so flat go over this side because i feel like it looks very light right here and that's where i'm missing some hair i just feel like it's a good way to wear them if i'm just doing like a lighter eye look and by lighter i mean with no no big eyeliner, no thick eyeliner, no falsies and things like that. And today I'm not going to wear any falsies or anything. Okay, so both of my brows are done now. And I don't know about you, but they just look a lot softer with the eye look and with my face. I feel like maybe to you they're a little bit bold, but trust me, compared to the way that I was doing them before, now they just look a little bit more natural, like more on the natural side. That's just me though. I don't know. <laughs> That's natural for me. I need to clean up a little bit underneath my brow, just a tiny bit. There we go. And now I'm just going to curl my eyelashes and add a mascara. Like I said, today I'm not going to do eyeliner or... What else? Or falsies. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to do falsies today. For mascara, I'm going to use this one by Benefit. This is the Roller Lash. This is a new one. I mean, I have been using it, but it's pretty new. I feel like my It Cosmetics one, the one that I was using a lot, that one is drying up. And I've had it for, I think, two months or so. I don't know if I already told you this. I'm not sure. But I feel like it gets so flaky after applying it, like maybe a few minutes after applying it that throughout the day I can see all the little specks of product on my under eye so yeah I don't know I don't know about that one anymore I don't feel like it lasted me long enough you know because it was good I liked it it made my eyelashes thick but I don't feel like it lasted me enough months you know what I mean it's like too soon I feel like I know you gotta replace them like every three months but most of them they'll last you a little bit longer you know and yeah, that one, I just feel like it's getting too flaky, like way too much is coming off of my my eyelashes. So now for the bronzer, I'm going to use, I'm going to mix probably these two. I'm going to try to use this one a little bit more, but I'll get into both of those shades right there. And I'm just going to use my Fenty brush. So mainly just, mainly the darker shade just to make it look a little bit more bronzy. And I have been trying my brushes with like different, different products, you know, so I'm not using, I'm trying not to use the same brushes all the time because I mean, not that it matters or like who cares, but you know, sometimes you get a different application like this one. I had been using it for powder only, but this one's a little bit different from the one that I'm used to, which is a real techniques. It's like a buffing brush, you know, just trying different brushes, seeing like the different applications that I could do. Okay, and then for blush, I'm going to use this one right here, but I think I want to give myself a little bit of a glow, so I might go ahead and use this one too, but I'm going to see this one by itself first. This one's by LA Girl. This one's called uh, Just Playful, and this is a matte blush. It's a light pink blush. Yeah, I'm going to use a little bit of this glowy one. I'm going to use this one instead, the one in the middle. I'm gonna go over this. And then for highlight, I'm gonna use the Juvia's Place Volume 3 highlighter. I'm also go up right here in the brow bowl. And I don't even think I told you about the foundation, like where, well, for this one, I'm not, I'm wearing, which one am I wearing on which side? this one on this side so the glow on this side and the matte velvet on this side that's going to be in another video if you want to see that for concealer today i use the makeup forever hd and then for powder i use and then for powder i use the Too faced born this way powder so those were products that i didn't show in this video but i am wearing them then for the lips i'm going to use this one by milani i do have a full swatch video on the other lipsticks that i have this one's in the color classic okay so this is the finished look i really like the way that this color combination came out with the center being just a little bit lighter it's not like extremely light i thought it was going to be a little bit more silver but it's a pretty taupey purple and then the outer corners are just more like of a pink purple 
everything is purple pretty much but I really like the way that everything turned out and yeah I didn't want to apply any eyeliner or falsies today I think the look still looks really pretty just like this it's more of a very wearable colorful look and I've been liking doing looks like this just because it's not that hard you know it's like I don't have to do a wing I don't have to put falsies on they're not falling off or you know coming off that's what i said falling off but like unsticking from the center or anything like that so loving this it's just very easy to wear i actually forgot to tell you a little bit about this i don't feel like it's very different than a concealer um and as far as the white you saw it. it you could still see a little bit of the purple underneath it but i think it still helps with the colors except right now i'm not wearing like a matte color it's a shimmer so i don't feel like it makes a big difference i did like the formula of it i thought i wasn't i thought it was gonna be too thin or just too liquidy to where it wasn't gonna i don't know look even or anything but it looked really nice and smooth so i'm happy with that i need to try it with maybe like a yellow or matte colors and see how those work out but for the shimmers and the way that it's stuck on my eye it did do a good job. I didn't have to apply any sh any shimmer. I didn't have to apply any spray for the shimmers because this did leave it a little bit tacky. So I am happy with that. Like I said, it's not one of those pasty formulas. It's very thin, but at the same time, it still left it like a white canvas underneath, which is what this is called, cut crease canvas. So anyways, that's all I wanted to mention towards the end because I completely forgot to tell you a little bit more about what I thought. I got this one from Ulta, but I'm sure maybe you can get it anywhere that they sell Makeup Revolution. Anyways, guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you want to see the other look that I created using this palette when I used it for the first time, I will have it linked right up there. But anyways, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching another one, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.